Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So this is my new poured uh, garden table. It's um, a little bit like a marble look so yeah you can't see a lot of contrast in the video easily but I, I made a video about this and you can check that out. What I want to talk about today is cracks in your pour. It happens yeah sometimes Sometimes it seems like it's totally random, but there are lots of factors why that can happen. So it's not something that can randomly be said it happened to you because. I was already pretty sure that it would happen because my paints had different consistencies. Let me show you some examples. So this was a rather extreme uh, crack. And I know that my silver was very liquidy, as well as my graphite. And I thought, oh, not such a big problem. Um, but it is simply because of the reason that the thinner paint will dry slower than the thicker paint, obviously because of the different water amounts. So then one already starts drying and so the elasticity is different. That's some one thing. Then I also poured it and I had to move it a lot because I had not just enough paint. That can also always be a factor. Then you have uh, parts thicker and parts thinner. So and of course also environmental like um, too moist, too hot, too cold, this type of things. And yeah, I just want to tell how I will fix or improve this one. Because I'm not so bummed out because this is marble and old look anyway. So, so this is probably even beneficial. But if you have a pour, of course, uh, yeah, that can break your heart. So what I did here already you can see I already rubbed white into it. You can even do that with, with color. So for example, if you rub silver in it, you would have like a, a crackle look, but it wouldn't just look like it's broken. It would look like it's on purpose. You can also go like here for the color that it was originally and repeat it again and again. I do it with um, yeah the liquid acrylic because then you can move it and I'm just gonna quickly show you on this part again I made did already half of the table cracks and um, yeah I'm, I'm rather pleased with the result okay so I gonna again do it with white and it's just camouflaging if you say I cannot accept this at all you can pour over something after you have it completely cured, so after three weeks, or you sand it down and do a partial pour or, or something like that. So what I have is my white and a very soft uh, cloth. Cloth. It can be a tiny bit moist, but it doesn't necessarily need to. And I just do it with my finger, basically. So. Let's see if I can... Finger is very good because you can just rub it in and where it needs to be deeper and where it needs to be thinner you can also immediately go into the, if there's something very close by that also needs to be fixed. And yeah, it will not completely fill it up, but you will see when it's dry that it looks very camouflaged. And you can repeat it if you want to fill it up more, depending on how deep, um, how deep your cracks are. So now I have it in there and now I rub the sides away and softly over it for the first okay so that's basically how you do it you see that the structure doesn't disappear obviously 
but uh, but it looks very different. Let me let me show you. It's a bit difficult to show because it's white, so there is difficult to see on the video. So this is the crack I just filled, and this would be a crack that is not filled. It's way softer at the edges because the shadow is not in there, etc. So, for example, these are smaller ones that I did yesterday. And yeah, you can see how good this camouflage, of course, it gets less when it's uh, deeper. I just thought I, I share that with you. Uh, perhaps it helps you to fix something in your pore. Hope you come back, have a look at my other videos and thanks for watching.